Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Use a crock pot as a smoker? Absolutely. You're going to love how easy this is to smoke meats in your crock pot. You only need two things to turn your crock pot into a smoker. You need some wood chips and some parchment paper. Tear off a nice big section of parchment paper. Place a nice big handful of wood chips into the middle of the paper and wrap it all up like a package. Now insert it straight into the bottom of your crock pot. Poke a few holes in your parchment paper. Turn your crock pot on low and it's ready to smoke your favorite foods. Today I'm going to be smoking some beautiful bratwurst. So I'm going to lay the bratwurst on top of the parchment paper. When you're smoking meats in your crock pot, you need about a cup of liquid to pour over the chips. You can use water, broth, fruit juice, wine, or beer, or the favorite liquid that you would choose as an accompaniment to the meat that you are smoking. So today I'm going to be smoking these beautiful bratwurst, and what goes better with brats than beer? Slowly add the beer, put the lid on it, it's set on low, and let it go for three to four hours. If you were smoking a larger piece of meat like a roast or a brisket, you would want to smoke it for about eight to 10 hours, depending on the size of your meat. I wish you could smell these. It's absolutely magnificent. They've been cooking for a few hours. I've warmed a bun, I'm ready to serve a crock pot smoked sausage. Add your favorite toppings and enjoy. Smoking in your crock pot is that simple. It's probably something you'll wanna do more than once. Try it, and remember, you can do all kinds of different meats. Just remember to put your chips on the bottom in a little packet of parchment paper. Add at least a cup of liquid, add your meat on top, and cook it on low until your meat is done. Yum. Mmm, try it. If you like my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else who would enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.